Hi, Jessica Sporn here to show you how I used the Krishna stencil from Stencil Girl to make an art journal page. Really, all I used for this art journal page were the faces, and I'll show you how. I had been stenciling a different page and had black paint left over. So I used just the part of the stencil with Krishna's face and created a sort of random repeat of faces going down the bottom of this page. And then I used a thin brush to give each one its own personal details. I created a glaze with some green paint and glazing medium just to bring the background out all together. And as I did that and looked at these faces, they reminded me of flowers in a garden. So I decided to kind of go with that theme. I pulled out some small doilies that I bought while visiting my daughter in the Czech Republic and also a page I had stenciled um, when I was doing work with the peony stencil from Stencil Girl products. And I decided to cut out these leaves and flower petals and use them around my faces. Once I cut out enough petals and leaves and laid them out how I wanted them, uh, I used a heavy gel medium to adhere them. The reason I used a heavy gel medium and not a the Liquitex matte medium that I love so much is because I had stenciled these flowers onto pretty heavy cardstock paper and the um, heavy gel medium adhered them much better. You can see I used the doilies to um, make little centerpieces on the heads, um, but each one is different. Each one has its own personality, its own little bit of flavor. I'm using a thin brush and a heavy bodied white acrylic paint to outline some of the different elements. And I'm just going to go back and forth and play with this until something in me says, okay, you're done and then it'll be time for some journaling. I'm adding a favorite quote, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you, and then some journaling about some of these special friends in my life who I'm so glad to have in my garden. I hope this video gives you an idea of a different way to use the Krishna stencil and that you'll give it a try. Links to the products I used and the stencil designs are at my blog, jessicasporn.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.